we are going to explore continuous capture. Continuous capture is a product feature that is designed to accommodate those replication environments in which it is necessary to separate the reading of the database logs from the transmission of the database operations to the target. Let's look briefly at how IIDR CDC works. Database creates transaction log files. IIDR CDC source engine actively reads those transaction logs at all times and processes the in scope entries. These entries are sent to the transaction queue and once committed, they are being sent to the staging store. Subscriptions read these entries and commits them onto the target database. The staging store entries are cleaned up as soon as subscription no longer needs them. In a large distribution environment, it is possible to have some target systems that are not synchronized with the source or there could be unstable network connection between the source and target. After it is restarted, the subscription requests the bookmark from the target system and restart the, from the position corresponding to the bookmark in the log. If this log entry is no longer available because the log files have been purged or archived, the replication does not start. The log files must be restored for normal operation to continue. Besides the risk of losing backup log files due to purging, a prolonged outage of replication could result in resource utilization spikes when subscriptions are restarted again. To optimize this operation and reduce the impact of IIDR CDC in large distributed environments, you may consider enabling the continuous capture feature which is available in all engines supporting single script. If you choose to enable continuous scripting, all subscriptions sourcing the instance must share the single script staging store. In other words, the private scrapers are not permitted. The data store parameter staging store can run independently controls the usage of single script staging store. The default value for this parameter is true which means that subscription can create their own log reader processes if a database log intro cannot be found into the staging store. Changing the parameter to false causes all subscription to work off the same staging store, in effect creating a single script staging store. The command to enable this feature is called dm enable continuous capture and correspondingly dm disable continuous capture to stop this continuous scripting. These commands can be found in the CDC installation bin folder. At all times, the staging store status can be monitored via the command dm get staging store status. Should the InfoSphere CDC instance be stopped normally at some point, the single script staging store is persisted to disk. So when starting the instance, the continuous capture is automatically restarted and continues from the last trade log entry. However, abnormal termination of the InfoSphere CDC instance renders the staging store corrupted. So there is no persistence guarantee. Always shut down the InfoSphere CDC by running DM shutdown to avoid the situation where the staging store must be cleared and the log reader must be restarted from the earliest bookmark position. If some subscriptions are stopped and the staging store size reaches the staging store disk quota, log reading and parsing will pause until the stop subscription are started and finish processing the oldest blocks. So they can be deleted and free up some space. Therefore, when running with continuous script, it is always advisable such that all the subscriptions need to be run at the same time. This feature will not help and should not be used in situations where the target consumes changes slower than what the source can produce them. This feature is meant to be used when source is indeed the bottleneck. The continuous capture does not change the log retention policy of single script. The command dm show log dependency can be used to list the database logs that are still required by IIDR CDC to continue. This functionality comes with a trade-off of with additional disk utilization on the source machine in order to accumulate changes from the database transaction log files when these are not being replicated to the target machine. 
These trade-offs should be evaluated and understood before deciding to use this feature in your application environment. For performance reasons, if you choose to use continuous capture, you need to ensure that your disk subsystem where the CDC replication staging store is located consists of very high speed. Thank you.